Hello, I'm Jeff Chandler for the Events Calendar. Today we're going to look at the Events Calendar and Event Tickets Power Automate Connectors. Before continuing with this video, we highly recommend reading the Knowledge Base article titled Creating a Cloud Automation Flow with Power Automate. The link to this article is in the video description below. And note that a premium Power Automate account is required to use Event Automator. Now there are two Power Automate connectors available to handle triggers and actions. The first is the Events Calendar connector you can see here, and you'll have to download these from the Microsoft Power Automate website. And then there is the Events Tickets Connector. Now the Events Calendar Connector works with the Events Calendar, which is the free version, and it also extends with premium add-ons such as Events Calendar Pro and Virtual Events. And the Event Tickets Connector works with Event Tickets for free, and it also extends with premium add-ons, so Event Tickets Plus. Each of these connectors has its own set of triggers, operations, and data available for automation purposes. Microsoft has an assessment that will help you get started, and it looks a little bit like this, and we'll have a link to that in the video description as well. The Events Calendar Connector has three available triggers, New Event, Updated Event, and Canceled Event, as you can see on the following screen. As far as actions go, we have one event that are available, which is Create an Event, and we do have event data for Power Automate. And as you can see, here's a list of dynamic content from the apps and connectors used in this flow. There's a number of different things here. A link to a knowledge base article that contains a detailed list of the available event related dynamic fields for the events calendar connector will be found in the video description below. For the event tickets connector, there are a couple available triggers, as you can see on the screen. There's one for new attendees, which is when an attendee is created on your site. There's one for updated attendees, which is when an attendee is updated on your site. There's also one for attendee check-in, and this is tied to when an attendee is checked in on your site. There's one for a new order, and there's one for refunded orders, which is when a ticket order is refunded from Tickets Commerce, Easy Digital Downloads, or WooCommerce. A link to a knowledge base article that contains a detailed list of the available attendee-related and order-related dynamic fields for Event Tickets Connector can be found in the video description below. If you have any questions or run into any issues with the Event and Ticket Connectors, please contact our support team.